everyone, I'm going to be talking about my journey from matric to medical school. Thank you, Sylph, for giving me this opportunity to share my story. Um, she gave me a bunch of questions, so let's get started. I'm Sarah Nina Philip, currently a third year medical student here at Fitz University. I'm from Venda and Limpopo, and I went to Mbilwi Secondary School there. Second on the list is the mocks that I got, as well as the advice I have. So we'll start off with the mocks for English home language. I got 79. Just missed that distinction. Afrikaans fall 89, mathematics 94, life orientation 92, geography 89, life sciences 90, and physical sciences 99. As for advice goes, the first thing I have to say is definitely doing more question papers and not only towards the exam, but as well as during the term. What I did was I'd consistently do question papers and make note of a question that I found particularly different or particularly hard for me. So as exam came along, I'd revise all those hard questions. So that really prepared me for what was to come. Secondly, your teachers. They are a gold mine full of knowledge that will give you every answer you need in regards to preparing for a specific paper. My teachers were very supportive and helpful, especially my mom, thank you. So they have a bunch of resources you can use, question papers from other provinces that you should definitely try and get done. They have specific things you have to focus on. They can also notice where you're lacking and provide you better guidance and motivate you. They're a delight to have around, so definitely try that. Also, try and go for extra classes. I had extra classes for different subjects that always kept me on top of my game, um, gave me a chance to practice more questions and kept me up to my work. Um, also look at trials as a test run for your final, um, final papers. Um, take it very seriously. Try and do the best you can and look at that and reflect upon where you lacked and focus on that to improve your final results. Pray if you believe in it, um, talk to others, and most importantly, take a break when you need it. People think that breaks are very in unproductive, but taking a break gives you a step back to reset and you can bounce back with so much more energy. So definitely keep that in mind. Next on the list is how I prepared for the NBT. So firstly, make sure that you have your English and math like schoolwork on par. It's very important because they do assess those questions. I remember I had a lot of functions and since you did functions as metric coursework, that was very easy to get through. I also used a site called Advantage Learn. It's an online platform that gives you test questions and teaches you about the content that will be assessed on the NBTs. There is a slight disadvantage because it does come with a very hefty fee. Um, so if you can afford it, definitely go for it. If you still want to, but you can't, maybe get to a group with a couple of friends and put money together and start an account together. That will also work. Um, if you can't though, it's totally okay. I know people who didn't do the course and did um, well. Um, me and my brother did the course and we ended up getting 94s for the math part and he got 80s in his other part so it does really help, it does give results, so definitely check that out. Next on the list is my first year experience. So I was very excited to come, moving to a new place, um, but university totally surprised me. My academics drastically dropped. Um, I was struggling, I was barely passing in some of my subjects and I think so because I wasn't fully aware of what the difficult part of university is and the main thing is the coursework, like the load you have to do. It's so much more than you could imagine, like grade 12 work could be done in like one term and we have so much to get through and so many different courses. So it's a lot of work and I had to like try and learn to adapt to the amount of work we have to do. So just be prepared for that as you come into varsity. Know that it's going to be a lot of work, but it's very fun. I met a lot of great people. It's a fantastic place. Um, so varsity is amazing. It's a new chapter of your life. Just 
keep on pushing, learn to adapt well to the changes. And it's much more fun because you're focusing on what you want to actually study. So the coursework is very directed at what interests you. So that was my first year experience. My easiest and hardest modules. Easiest definitely is psychology in first year. It was a half course. I enjoyed it very much and it was quite easy. My most challenging would definitely be chemistry. I bet all medical students know how bad chemistry was in first year. Um, chemistry, if you do remember, I actually got 99 for my physical sciences paper. But when it came to varsity, I am struggling to pass, to even reach a 50. Um, I ended up passing by God's grace with a 52 at the end of the year. Um, believe me, that's a great mark in my terms. Um, but like, yeah, that really caught me off guard. But like, it just shows varsity is a different experience for different people. For me, I my academic performance did suffer. For others, it actually improved. And for others, they kept on the same level. So just be prepared for different changes. So the next item on the list is what keeps you going when the road gets tough. So it's inevitable. People have highs and lows in their life. I do a little something where I take a note of my high or excited or encouraged moment and whenever I feel low I open that note page and I just read a couple of lines and that gives me an extra push to keep on going because those stories are the stories that happen to me and things that particularly keep me going and give me that energy so that really helps when I'm feeling down. Also there's the aspect of discipline. It's not easy to wake up every day and know that you're going to dedicate your whole day to studying so with discipline you know you wake up at this time and you have to study it sounds like brute force in the beginning but then once you get past that initial friction you get into the groove of studying and that really helps when you don't feel like it but beware taking breaks is necessary you should know when you're feeling lazy and when you just I burnt out you're tired so take breaks when necessary it's productive in the long run I mentioned this before it's only going to serve you you can't do effective work when you're tired of what you're doing so be mindful of how you're feeling a couple of other small things I do is hearing other people's stories on YouTube their struggle stories their journey how they got to where they are right now that's very inspiring to watch that gives me a boost of energy whenever I see that um, also studying with people can help, um, group studying, but do that if that works for you. It helps you reinforce and um, the information as well as make the process much more fun. Also, do your best. God will do the rest. I'm a firm believer of that. You can only do so much. And after you do your best, that's out of your hands and you just let what comes come. So we have reached the end of the video just to tie everything together. To get into medicine, mocks, NBTs, and final mocks are very important. Make sure your NBT mocks are not neglected and you do invest time into that and your results from finals, it's very important to make sure that you have a good average. I know people who got six, seven distinctions but then didn't make it in because their average wasn't as high. I got six distinctions with an average of 90 so that put me at a very safe place to get in to the position I'm, I'm at right now. Also it's great that you watch a lot of videos but it's very important to put these um, tips into action. So what I would suggest if you did find something new or something that you should start integrating into your own lifestyle, write them down and one by one start integrating that into your daily habits and you'll see results because you're actually putting action into stuff that matter. Also, it's very important to remember everyone has different timelines. Not everyone will make it into medicine after matric and that's completely okay. I think if it's meant for you, it'll eventually come to you. So WITS has an incredible program called the GEM program. Selu has more videos on that, just check it out. It's, it's okay. It's okay if you're watching this after um, not making it in. People have different timelines and you'll eventually get to where you're supposed to be. 
please comment if you have questions or further tips for other people to apply also and all the best on your journey um believe in yourself keep pushing and yeah what's meant to be will happen all the best our greatest glory is never in falling but in rising every time we fall if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these Thank you to the new subscribers, very much appreciated.